The flu is dangerous and deadly. Last winter alone, over 80,000 Americans died from the flu. That's the highest in a decade. Mind blown. Welcome to the Wednesday Checkup. Today's topic of interest is the flu and the flu shot. <laughs> I know this can be a polarizing topic, but let's get through it together. Here's a list of why everyone, young or old, should be getting the flu shot every year. Number one, the flu shot is our most effective way of preventing the flu. And trust me, you don't want the flu. Body aches, nausea, vomiting, high fevers, fatigue. Keep in mind, that also means missing school, work, and sometimes it takes patients weeks to recover from this. You guys wanna see a grown man cry? Number two. The flu shot decreases the likelihood of developing complications from the virus. And it's the complications that can kill. Number three, by you getting the flu shot, you're supporting herd immunity, essentially limiting the spread of the virus. The people who are most susceptible to the flu, the young, the old, those with weakened immune systems, they need you to get your flu shot to help protect them. By you getting a flu shot, you could be saving a life. I also want to debunk the myths I hear most often when it comes to the flu shot. Myth number one, the flu shot is ineffective at preventing the flu. That is untrue. Yes, it's not 100% effective. This is because we have to predict what the flu strain is gonna look like in February for flu season in September. But having the flu shot even 50% effective is still better than nothing. Here's something that not a lot of people talk about. If you get your flu shot every year consecutively, you actually get a better result from each of those flu shots. Myth number two, you can get the flu from the flu vaccine. This is completely untrue. The flu vaccine is an inactivated virus. It physically can transmit the virus to you. If you got sick, after getting the vaccine, you were gonna get sick anyway. <sighs> it's the most common time of year to get the flu. And remember, it takes a week or two for the flu vaccine to give you that protection. Myth number three, by taking antibiotics, I'll feel better quicker. That's not true. It's actually the opposite. Antibiotics work on bacteria, not viruses. By taking antibiotics when they're not necessary, you can create a whole host of other problems. Yeast infections, diarrhea, who wants that? Finally, I'll leave you off with a couple of interesting facts about the flu. You could actually spread the flu before you have symptoms. Get out! Germs have hang time. So if someone walks into a room, sneezes without covering their mouth, you walk in after them, you're gonna get hit in the face with those germs. I know many of you want to be proactive and keep your immune system in tip-top shape ready to fight off any virus that comes along. So click up here for my how to not get sick video. I promise you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching this episode of the Wednesday Checkup. If you have any recommendations for topics or questions about something we talked about, jump into the comment section. And as always, stay happy and healthy. Ah.